Hi, I'm Jubby. You see here, this is Jubby too. You see there, behind the camera, that is Jubby as well. We're all Jubbies here. Remember that. Hey everyone, it's Cupquake and I'm here with Red. Why are you happening <laughs> that way? <laughs> <laughs> and so we have Ruby here. Ruby, come say hi. Little Ruby. Come say hi. Hi. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. Hi. Hi. So we got some some questions asked to us on Twitter, and I'm gonna just go ahead and read them off. So, first one is from Mr. Nintendo One Two Three Four Five. <laughs> Jeez. Mr. Nintendo One Two Three Four Five asks, "How does it feel at first when you make a video?" So of course, Red wouldn't know about this because he still has a made videos. <laughs> I was on the damn live stream for 28 days straight. But you didn't I... make the video. You didn't make a video for your channel. Okay, so you guys know that, that one video on his channel, uh, <laughs> oh, I edited no. it for him. Don't say it. Don't say <laughs> it. He still hasn't made a video. For the love of God, don't say it. <laughs> it's funny that you asked this because today I was actually looking at my older videos that I posted to Machinima. And these, the very first ones I posted were World of Warcraft. And uh, what I used to do, I think it's good for people who are beginning commentating, is to do the gameplay first and then record your voice over after. Because if you do it live right away, when I first did it live, I cut the video like a lot because I was like, oh, I didn't like what I said, I messed up. Dang. Yeah. So when I first made my video, I, you can see, I'll put it in a link. It's funny because I watched it today and I'm so awkward i'm so i'm just like really proper and calm and it's like so boring it's funny to see how you've progressed like you know obviously in the beginning you know there, there are some people who are really good at this kind of stuff from the mm -hmm. get-go from out the gate but the thing is like you know some of us it takes time you know and you know doing it over and over again to get used to and then you know you feel yeah. comfortable with it and then yeah. it just comes out naturally. it's it's funny to see how how much i've grown it's almost been a year almost been a year since I've had my channel but it's probably like a little a little almost almost a year since I've been doing commentating yeah but it's August yeah August, yeah. it's a year already well, well it should be a year channel, by September I made my channel in August yeah. and then I started like commentating like a month after yeah. oh hey it's Jake hey, so yeah um the only See advice <laughs> this is Jubby <laughs> the only advice I could give to you is just keep going with it um, take constructive criticism, but don't pay attention to the trolls. I mean, don't don't get your feelings hurt or anything, and don't get discouraged. It'll come with time. So. Yeah, in the beginning, don't be some people who you know are there cheering for you, but there's gonna be trolls as well. So. There's always gonna be trolls. Just don't take All it seriously. You know, you're doing this for fun, and you know they don't know you, so you can talk all you want. Which brings me to my next question asked by. Warrior one three nine six. Okay, what's up with the numbers, guys? <laughs> Warrior so, one three four five. He asked, uh, "Will you be doing any more WoW videos soon?" I really miss them. Sad face. Um, well, I've been taking a break from WoW. I don't even know how long has it been. Uh, since played. April. Since April. Since yeah. we played. Yeah. Oh my God, that's a long uh, time. April thirtieth, I believe, was the last time we played. Something like that. Mm. That's the last time we played um, arenas. Wow, that's a long time. Um, I'm still, I'm not going to make videos, I'm not going to renew my subscription until I really want to get back into the game, and right now I don't want to get back into it, because that game is really time consuming, it's really demanding, and in order to be good at the game you have to invest a lot of time into it, and me, I'm one of those types of personalities who likes to be good at a game, like I want to be good, so I will spend like way too much time in it, so... Not anytime it's, soon. <laughs> it's a fun game. It's just, just you know, it's great to be able to play other games like we've been doing lately. Yeah, we've been playing a whole bunch of other games, and I yeah. feel like I've really, really like opened up my my world of gaming, my library of games. Yeah. So, um, okay, our next question comes from Machinima Dude, and I. Oh, 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 went. oh no. Lost my page. He asked. Um, I know you went to MLG Anaheim. What was the experience like? So, that was both our first time going yeah. to MLG. And 
It was fun. It was fun. It was really fun. Uh, we used to be really into StarCraft, or am StarCraft 2, um, but like we were we were actually uh, teamed up together. Yeah, for, we were doing twos yeah, we were in doing um, twos. StarCraft 2, and we were doing our ranked matches, mm -hmm. uh, or our placement matches, and after, after we lost, we won four and we lost one. And it placed us in platinum, and we were sucked. We were to platinum. Like, oh man, I, <laughs> I, can't, I didn't even get platinum on my own. No, I, I was not a good single player. Yeah. <laughs> but after going to MLG Anaheim and seeing like the players and seeing the crowd and like how involved everyone is, and it made me want to start playing it. Like I wanted to go home that night, and I wanted to go play StarCraft, and I wanted, I would want to like get into it, and like I even considered doing it competitively, but I was like, I get way too. I rage way too mad. <laughs> I get way too mad, and it's like I get too nervous, and I wouldn't. I don't think I'd be able to handle it. I would just like. Yeah, but I would just do the ruby dance. <laughs> Emoji was real fun. Uh, we went there uh, to see both Starcraft and to yeah, uh, Call of Duty, and to support our friends who are in Optic Gaming. Yeah, um, they got third place in the COD, uh, COD or Call of Duty uh, tournament. But StarCraft, the fans were just yeah. wild. It was awesome. It was like a really crazy sight to see. And like everyone's energy was just like, it was fun. If there's and one coming to your area, you should definitely go. Especially yeah, go if, with some friends or something. Yeah, especially if uh, there's pros, you know, that you really want to see. You'll be able to meet them in person there. It's not, everybody's open floor, you know, open, like it's not like somebody's behind the yeah. backstage and, and you security can't them. with them. No, it, it was cool. And actually, we got to meet uh, a few of, of our fans, and we signed our first autograph there. It was kind of weird. It was. He I've he never... signed more autographs than I did. Yeah, yeah. Some guy <laughs> came up to me. He's like, "Hey, uh, can I get your autograph?" And I was like, "Oh, because I was wearing the optic jersey. I designed the jersey, so they gave me one of them. And in the back it says red." And um, the guy came up to me. He's like, "Hey, can I get your autograph?" I'm like, "I'm not an optic." He's like, "No." You're, in, you're red. I want your <laughs> autograph. I know who you are. Our next question comes from More Magical. And uh, he asked, he or she asked, Will you dance with Mario? <laughs> so random. <laughs> <laughs> Will you dance with <laughs> It's funny that you asked that because tonight we're going to be dancing a lot because we're actually going to his old co worker's wedding, his, friend, his, his friend's wedding. He's one of my good friends. He's a docker. Docker. Yeah. So. Um, it would be really awesome if you guys go send him a message on Twitter and go wish him congratulations because later today we're going to be at his wedding. Yeah. What's his Twitter? So, uh, it's uh, at hey underscore Aaron. Uh, yeah, I'll put it on the screen so you guys um, can see that. But just say... Send him a message and say, congrats Joby, you docker. Congrats Joby, you docker. Yeah. Yeah. He'll like that a lot. He'll be like, oh my god. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, that pretty much sums up today's episode. Hope we got to your questions. <laughs> like, I'm like torturing her. always being tortured by you guys? <laughs> She's just so steppy. I, oh, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I love having Red here as a guest. I feel like, yeah. Hey. Huh. Oh, and our anniversary is coming up this month. What's that? You better have something planned for me, or I'm gonna rage. Uh, I'm gonna rage quit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna rage quit. All right, no guys. Starting. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye. See you guys. One more thing I forgot, guys. Um, I actually posted some videos this week on Respawn and Realm, so I'm gonna provide a link for you guys to go check them out. I would really appreciate if you guys support me because it's my very first time doing solo videos for Respawn. And um, you know how people are when they see something new that they're not used to, so. A girl on Respawn, what's that? <laughs> so um, I'll provide the links for you. Just uh, go check it out, leave your support. I would really appreciate it. So bye for realsies.